up, YouTube Nation? This is Man Talk 24-7 here with a versus a 2K opponent ranked match. You already saw that man record like 132 and 25, something serious like that. But y'all already know, man, I can play mad in 2K. And I come out the ball, man. First possession, get a steal for a dunk, LeBron James. But Carmelo Anthony, that man is a problem in this game. So this game is basically LeBron James against Carmelo Anthony with a little help from my man Norris Cole. But uh, this game actually helped me gain some respect for Carmelo Anthony because I thought he could only shoot, but that man can drive. I mean, he can... He can actually pass too. I mean, Melo really balled out this game and was really a problem for me to guard because I could have guard that dude to save my life, but this guy couldn't guard LeBron James either. So it was basically back and forth, back and forth. But one thing I have noticed about 2K is that you really have to contest basically every shot, especially in rank because the game is an all-star. If you are not contesting a shot it's basically just a score i mean you're not people will not miss wide open shots as you see carmelo anthony just knocking it down i mean you have to get out there man i mean it ain't no just oh hope that they miss hope that this hope that that but you really have to get out there especially when you're playing against the knicks i mean the knicks they are i mean a lot of people think that they can contend with the heat and i have to agree but when you have LeBron and Wade, I mean, that's just very, very tough. I mean, the Knicks do have Melo, but Gerald Smith is too off and on for me, man. But they do have my man Steve Novak. They have Melo, as you see why, right there, just wide open. Luckily, he missed. I'm so thankful he missed. Throw it down to LeBron for the dunk. But, uh, I think NCAA comes out in, what, two more days? So on that Friday... I really hope that I can download it quick before I leave. Probably not, though. I really don't know. But I'm really hyped for that NCAA once that game comes out. And it's just going to be NCAA and 2K, man. J.R. Smith doing a 360 dunk. I don't even think that's possible. I mean, I understand that's possible, but nobody in the NBA is going to do a 360 dunk. I mean, their coach would just take them out just just because i mean a 360 dunk in a game and it's a two-hand dunk i mean that's that's just crazy i mean even if it was a 360 one-hand dunk but a 360 two-hand dunk that's even harder i mean getting over two hands is it as easy as just rising up there with one hand so that's definitely crazy and that's the toughest part about the Knicks, man they are so athletic you have amari stoudemire knocking down mid-range J just crazy stuff like that but also got mike miller for three too man it, i mean everything i'm answering back everything quentin richardson that dude does not even play that honestly that man the last time i saw that man play was like on the knicks when they were like really really bad i mean when they were like uh what you call it? when they had like safar marbury or something uh something like that jerome james eddie curry like those knicks but as you can see, that man still can shoot the ball. And we need a rebound. Chris Bosh. I mean, that dude, I understand you average like four rebounds in the playoffs or something like that. But I can't even hate on that dude because when the game was on the line, he got that rebound, kicked it out to Ray Allen. So. But he's not getting no rebounds for me, though. I mean, it's nice that you are getting rebounds in game six and all of that stuff. But you got to get some rebounds for me at least. And as you see, LeBron just doing it all by himself. What he got right now, about 27 or 30 points. And that's the tough thing about Melo. I had three guys on that dude, and he's still drawing fouls. He's still making shots. He's still dunking in traffic. Just really, really crazy. Just two superstars going at it. And Mike Miller, you got to make that crap, man. That's the only reason you're in the game. You're not in the game for defense. And Gerald Smith continuing to do his crazy 360 dunks. I mean, Mike Miller, you're in the game to shoot the ball. It's not for driving the ball, not for passing the ball, not to get rebounds. I mean, you're in the game to shoot. I mean, I understand you have a broken back, all that stuff. But you really need to start knocking down shots if you want to play for me. If not, I mean, it's okay. I'm not going to force you to play, man. I will easily sit you down. It is really nothing to me. And LeBron, look at that three-pointer. That man shot 40%. Can't even make that. So 
that's really really discouraging but you know we just oh look at that block by my man Shane Batty just completely just swats it out of bounds pump fake nice pump fake and they bail him out with the foul come on ref you can't call that man that was that was just good defense a good contest and a half court shot no dice so we only down what eight points no we only down 10 after halftime but we still in this game, no doubt. I mean, this game is back and forth. We just keep fouling them every time we block the shot. We just need to start, just stop fouling the shots, man. Just stop fouling. But we keep coming back, keep going back and forth. And Melo, I mean, we just need to just crowd the paint and strap him. And it, we really should be able to do that. Look at that. And one, coast to coast. And people say my LeBron James doesn't get any rebounds. People are like... All you do is cherry pick with LeBron. But then when I get a rebound like that and take it coast to coast, finish the and one with the left hand, they don't have anything to say after that, man. Then they just they can't say anything after that. Pull up for three, and that was just a cling. I mean, just out of bounds. Just, whoa, like maybe you need to stick to Duncan. And that's what I do. I don't know how 2K has that as a foul. I mean, he wasn't even close to me. I'm surprised they they even let him catch up to me with the animation. I mean, that animation really needs to be taken out the game, honestly. But this year is actually the best that it's been. I remember back in the old 2K, like 2K8, that animation would never be called a foul. I mean, that was back when it was really, really crazy. I remember 2K8, you could just do Rondo and just start, and people would not be able to drive on you. I mean, that's how fake it, it was, but it's still fake, but at least it's been toned down, and that's really all you can ask, honestly. And we just need to cut down on the turnovers. I mean, like, look at that. That's just splash, man. Hand down, man down, and my man LeBron getting punched. Like, what? That dude's legs getting punched. That dude has to be tired. And Carmelo got a, got a cool 32 man that's really a problem we need to slow him down look at that defense by stat and people say stat doesn't play defense because he doesn't so i don't know why he's over there stepping in front of lebron and carmelo making these crazy twisting up and unders we need a time after that coach time out after that ray allen you need to start making shots too that's the only reason you in the game and Finally knock it down right there, man. And Dwayne Wade, see, this is why Wade really doesn't play for me. What are you doing, Wade? Just just, just messing up, just not playing really, really well. Look at that pump fake in the and one. I mean, that's just a tough move. I mean, it was a pump fake. I jumped in. The help defender got the and one. I mean, just really, really tough to defend. Wide open three, and Carmelo flies out from the elbow. So now we down 12 points, make that 15 points in the fourth quarter. But I'm not going like that, man. I promise you, LeBron James, that man has pride, and he is not about to get blown out by his rival, Carmelo Anthony. So we start turning up the defense, just feeding LeBron, and they're not going to stop LeBron. So look at that defense and that hustle. Shane Battier out hustles LeBron James, but he throws it right to Amari Stoudemire. I mean, that was great hustle, but that was actually on me. I should have called a timeout, but I did it. So I have to pay. Carmelo broke down Mike Miller. Good defense, though. That dude missed the ball. Throw it down to LeBron for the dunk. Now we only down nine points. We still in this. Make that eleven again. And 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 look at that hustle. See, that's why Shane Batty plays for me, man. You just saw back to back hustle plays. That's why he plays for me, man. Because he just a flat out hustler, man. That dude never gives up on the play. We get another steal. Check out this defense. Fast break. One eighty dunk. So now we are only down seven points with two minutes left. Crank up the defense, full court press, everything. We are throwing everything at him. Locking up Carmelo, no dice. Steve Novak, stick to stick to shooting threes, man. We already know you're not a mid-range person. So now we're down five points, full court press again. Uh, actually, no full court press yet. The game hasn't got that serious yet. But here we are. We just look at that defense. No, that's horrible defense. What am I saying? Y'all were about to agree with me too, man. I had everybody literally in the paint and leave Steve Novak, one of the best shooters in the league, wide open. Can he hit that again? Luckily, he missed it. Carmelo got the rebound though. 
and then makes makes that double clutch over Chris Bosh. Oh my goodness, we're down 10 points with a minute 30 left. What, what, what just happened, honestly? 180 dunk again, full court press this time. No games right now, full court press, no steal, horrible defense. But we we recover and we just need one we just need stops right now we just need some some high quality defensive possessions and that's terrible we can't give up a wide open layup so now we down 10 with a minute 13 but the game's still not over make that eight full court press everybody get on their man we get the steal pass it to lebron and he makes that flip shot floater now we down six with a minute and six left so we are still in this game. Look at that hustle by Shane Battier, LeBron. You already see a, a smooth 62. But is it going to be a 62 and an L? I mean, no one cares. You score a 60 and lose. We get the steal off the full court press. Noah's Cole. That's why he plays. Now we down four with 55 seconds left. We just need two stops to win the game. And that was a good foul because he almost had a wide open dunk. Great foul right there. We get the steal on the inbounds pass. I should have passed that up, but I did it. LeBron James took it all by himself. Down two with 49 seconds left. We just need one more stop again look at this defense it looks open but it's not and it is open he dribbles coast to coast for a layup and this is where we start to lay down choke struggle but we get it into lebron for the foul and we knock down both free throws you already know man no choke job over here knocking both down not playing any games right now Full court press. He beats it easily. Chris Bosch get there in time. About time. Look at this defense though. This defensive possession. We have three guys on Carmelo. No dice. Nobody open. Shot clock beating down. He feeds Stoudemire. No, he thought he was wide open. Four guys on Carmelo. He shoots a double clutch. Get the rebound. No timeout. We're shooting the last shot. Pull up three in Shubber's face. And cash, man. And cash let's go we got the win look at that comeback i was down 10 with a minute left it didn't matter i still came back and won you already see lebron with a smooth 69 carmelo gave him 45 but that was 45 and a loss and 69 and a win man 69 points i keep trying to tell people man it's really nothing dropping 60 70 80 with lebron james it's just an average game for me i mean it is what it is but look at this defensive possession just straps everybody this dude sends me a message he says good good game get lucky man call it luck call it clutch man i like to call it clutch i mean some people like to call it luck I like to say, look at this defensive possession. Just everybody blanketed three, four guys on everybody that touches the ball. No dice. Most people would have called timeout after that, but no. I played it off the rebound, played it off the miss, and I'm dribbling. I notice time ticking down. He jumps before me, actually, but I still maybe even found me pull up with Carmelo closing behind and nothing but net, so. Hope you enjoyed this game, man. And look forward for more 2K gameplays and NCAA 14 gameplays once the game comes out this Friday. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.